In this video, I'll show you how to create a Windows Forms app with PowerShell and add some pictures and an icon to the form. So I have uh, Visual Studio installed. Uh, this is Visual Studio 2019 and I have uh, PowerShell tools for Visual Studio installed. After installing that, you're going to have some project templates. Uh, I'm going to use this PowerShell script project template or you can search for a template up in this particular uh, search field. If you click next, it'll take you to this dialog where you can enter the name. So we're going to say our picture form and then we can click create. Now that we have our project created, let's go ahead and actually add a form to our project. So you click new item here and then you want to select a PowerShell form. So I'm just going to add this form and you can see here that it's open the form.ps1. This is the actual file that runs when uh, we want to start our form. So if I click start or press F5 you're going to notice that our form has popped up. Sometimes it doesn't uh, pop up in front of Visual Studio, but you'll see a little PowerShell icon down here that you can click and open the form. So now let's take a look at the designer. So if we double click the form.ps1 file, it's going to open up the designer for the Windows Form app. Um, and to add controls to it, we can click this toolbox button here uh, and we're going to pin it. And what I want to add is a picture box picture box just allows you to put a picture onto your form. So I will put that onto my form and make it the same size as my form. And then you can click that little icon there and click choose icon or image. From there, you want to select a local resource, click import, and then select the image that you want to put in this image box or picture box. Uh, after clicking OK and selecting your image, click OK again, and now you should have an image inside your form. So let's make it a little bigger so we can see the whole image. So I have a little bicycle image here. Um, and if I save that, what you'll see is when I run my form now, uh, you can see I have that image inside my form. Next, I want to show you um, kind of what that does behind the scenes. So this is all just building uh, PowerShell scripts and if we click uh, open file and folder and double click this resources.ps1 file you'll see that it's storing that image as a base64 encoded string inside a PowerShell script. From there if we look at the designer code what you'll see is it's actually loading that resource file as a PS1 file using dot sourcing and then accessing the hash table that's returned to get the image out. So now let's go ahead and add an icon. So if we select the form by clicking on the title bar here, we can find uh, an icon property in the bottom right here. Click the little ellipses button. And now I can select uh, an icon that I've downloaded. And you can see in the top left corner, my form's icon has changed to the little uh, Game Boy. So I'm going to save that. And if I start that, now you'll see that I have the icon inside my form. The last thing I want to show off is the ability to actually package this as an XE. So if I hit Properties and go to Advanced, from here you can select Bundle and Package as Executable. There's additional options on the Executable Properties page, such as obfuscating the code, hiding the console window, and so on and so forth. But now if we right click on this particular project and click Build, you'll see in the output pane at the bottom, um, whoops, it is running a build which has now finished and uh, we have this form.exe that was created based on our PowerShell script. So now if I go to Windows Terminal and launch that exe file, you'll see that I have my PowerShell form and it includes both my icon and my image. So in this video we went over how to uh, create a Windows Forms app in uh, PowerShell tools for Visual Studio and include images and icons for your form.